So hey everybody, um, Jan Erickson here again uh, with Stepping Aside. Listen, I, I want to do a, 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 a rune divination here for you um, that's going to be in today's magical forecast over on the blog at Stepping Aside. Um, if you are used to seeing that, um, you know that there's a section in there that's I do a three rune divination as part of that. And uh, today's was just interesting, so I thought that I would share it with you. I may start doing that, maybe not every day, but uh, uh, but maybe, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um, but this is a three-rune divination involving Hagalaz, a Norn rune, also known as the Witch rune. It looks kind of like an H. And Degas. Uh, and Issa. Now, one of the things, if you've been coming here, you know when I talk about runes, um, that I take a look at what they look like visually and see what runes might be involved in their structure. Sometimes you can take a look at that, and that alone, you, you consider them all together, and, and it really comprises the definition of the accepted definition of each rune. So uh, now some, like Isa, is just a single line. And so uh, there's no uh, way to interpret that any other any other way than what it is. But, but let's go ahead and take a look at this. And uh, I just thought it was interesting. Um, so again, we have two Norn runes today, Hagalaz and Isa. Hagalaz is the witch rune. Uh, and it, it basically means destruction within a fixed framework, which is essentially what witchcraft is. Uh, we try to influence something without, you know, blowing it all out of the water. Uh, and, and then Issa, uh, conversely, is will contraction, or the rune of the present moment, or the rune of the static realm. Hagalaz would be the rune of the past, and the other Norn rune, Nafis, would be the rune of the future, or of uh, uh, basically uh, the friction within to manifest. And so you see breakdown coming to coming to the center or alignment and source presence and then moving on into the future with those three particular runes. But today we just have Hagalaz and Isa. Now, uh, together, um, I'm interpreting that to be, uh, to signal the, two, the presence of the two of, the, of, of Hagalaz and Isa, the two Norn runes, I'm interpreting that to be to signal that higher self involvement is is happening in choosing a new path forward into transformation of some kind. So and and because of Degas though, this is an interesting rune. It's 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 energy at its saturation point becomes its opposite. So it's thought to mean a new day. So a new day or a new path. Here you see Gebo in the center of it, which is an X. Okay. You see that, which is balanced energy exchange with others. Uh, it was part of, it was the, the Elder Futhark rune for today's uh, somewhat daily tarot and rune uh, reading. Um, you also can see Lagus on the side. You see Isa terminating the ends. And so this is a very spiritual type of a rune. I believe it's the 22nd rune. If it is, then, then that's, that's a manifestation rune. The other thing that I looked at here with Hagalaz, um, uh, but before I get to that, let's finish, let's finish with the Gaz. So it, there's also Kenaz. If you have, if you have Gebo, you also have Kenaz, which is the light of spirit. It does this. So you can see that it's in all directions today. That opens our awareness to the new path forward, essentially. Now, Hagalaz breaks down barriers again while preserving our fundamental alignment with one another. Uh, inherent because basically all of this form is is for us to to uh, explore tangible reality and then take that information back to the collective consciousness. That's what this is, and so basically this is all the creator manifesting itself into little souls that are out here to then you know come back and say okay you know to bring it all together and now we have a greater awareness of what tangible form when ego is involved uh, looks like basically, when it's not just pure spirit. Um, but in any event, um, that's what I mean about pre still preserving our fundamental alignment with one another. Inherent in Hagalaz, though, we see Urus, which is the second rune of the Elder Futhark. It looks like this. We see Urus, both above and below. If you look at it that way, you can see it right down here. But if you turn it upside down, you got the same, don't you? So now you have Hagalaz expressing Urus or the manifestation rune in both as above, so below fashion. 
okay? Invoking and manifesting, manifesting the transformation required for change. And again, to take us onto a new path together. Isa allows us to draw down spirit to not into not only our awareness, but also to invoke the will in a concentrated, focused manner. Uh, that's the, that's what we mean about it. In other words, it's ego contraction, if you will. OK, it's not it's using spirit to basically transmute ego into spirit, basically, and and getting everything contracted. So the will's not out there in ego presenting as ego instead of as spirit. It's not out there doing whatever it wants to. You see, <laughs> you, you know what I mean by that, right? So so basically what Isa's doing is it's drawing down spirit, transmuting, transmuting the ego and getting everything and then getting the will into a concentrated and focused manner so it can then move forward and make the transformation it needs to make on this new path forward with Degas. So that's essentially what the divination is asking us to do today is to cast the intention for a new path forward. So I just thought I would share that with you. This is going to be a very short video just to let you know about this. Go ahead and check out the magical forecast. It's going to go up here uh, in the next hour. It'll be up. I still have some more things to do on it. I've got to look at the uh, planetary aspects and, and, and aspect patterns and stuff like that. But the rest of it's done. Um, and then when I'm done doing that and just making sure, you know, doing the updates and all that for that, then I'll go ahead and I'll post it to the blog and out to everybody on Twitter and Facebook and all of that. Um, so look for that um, or go over over to Stepping Aside's Facebook page or go to the blog at Stepping Aside at imsteppingaside.com and uh, and you can you can see it there. I'm going to put it in the uh, uh, it'll be on the side panel. OK, and it'll be the rune divination for today. So uh, it might be in the magical musings. I don't know. There might be something there, though, that I have. I can't remember how many videos I post on the site. Isn't that terrible? Anyway. Thanks for watching you guys. Oh, the other place I'm going to post this uh, is over on is over there on my Instagram page. So uh, check it out over there, too. So anyhow, I guess that's it. So maybe we'll do this again tomorrow or or just when I find one that I like that I think is interesting, then we'll just do this. How about that? We'll just say it that way. So anyhow, have a great day, everyone, and be good to yourself. Be good to one another and blessed be.